You know, the traditional way to borrow money is you go to the institutional lender, you get on your hands and knees, you put your hands underneath your chin, and you say, please fund my deal, right? Mm -hmm. Well, in this world, we're not asking for a mortgage. We are offering a mortgage. There's no applications. There's no verifications of income. Listen, you are already approved as the borrower. Yes. You just got to get the word out. Right. If you're a real estate investor and are wondering how to raise and leverage private money to make more profit on every deal, then you're in the right place. On Raising Private Money, we'll speak with new and seasoned investors to dissect their deals and extract the best tips and strategies to help you get the money, because the money comes first. Now here's your host, Jay Connor. Greetings, and welcome to the ROI Clear Podcast. My name is Ray Hightower, and today we are fortunate to have as our guest, Mr. Jay Connor. Jay Connor is known as the Private Money Authority, and he's done an effective job of getting money for real estate deals, single family, multifamily, different commercial uh, asset classes, and we look forward to speaking with him today about how he has produced those results. So let us not delay any further. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Jay Connor. Welcome, Jay. Hello there, Ray. I'm so excited that you've got me here as a guest on your amazing podcast. And that's because we're going to be talking about my favorite subject, and that's private money, private lending. It's had the biggest impact on mine and my wife's uh, real estate investing career ever since we started all the way back in 2003 here in Eastern North Carolina. I love private money. We're not relying on banks. We're not relying on hard money lenders. We're not relying on institutional lenders. And in fact, we're getting money and not even asking for money. The money's chasing us. We're not chasing it. I can't wait to talk about this topic. That's wonderful, Jay. And you know what, what's so great? My, my first question to you was, was, uh, would have been to ask you for an elevator speech. And for those who are new to ROI Clear, we would ask Jay, what would he say to someone he wants to influence in the course of an elevator ride? But Jay, you're like, you're such a ball of energy. You jumped right in. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to let you c continue with that. You said something very interesting in that intro right there. You said how to get the money for these deals without asking for the money. Why don't you unpack that for us? Absolutely. So I'm going to go ahead and give you the bottom line answer. I'm going to yes. give you the bottom line answer is the how you get all this money without asking for money. And then I'm going to explain what in the world it means. So here's yes. the answer. I get all the money. In fact, I got a problem. I got a problem. I got more private money for my real estate deals than I can actually put to work. Isn't that a good problem, right? But here's the answer. You get private money funding for your real estate deals by doing what I do. And that is I put on my private money teacher hat. Mm. I put on my private money teacher hat. So what is a private money teacher hat? What it means is is I, I lead with a servant's heart and I lead with teaching people how they can earn high rates of return safely and securely, either by using their investment capital and or by using their retirement funds. And so here's the deal. Right now, Carol Joy, my wife and I and our team, We've got 47 private lenders, individuals. These are human beings, just like you and me, that are funding our deals, investing in our deals. And here's what's interesting. Not one of those 47 individuals had ever heard of private money, private lending, self-directed IRAs until I put on my teacher hat. Right. And I started teaching these people what this world was all about. So you see, none of our private lenders are sophisticated financial people. They're regular people, just mm -hmm. like you, just like me. And they'll invest anywhere from $30,000 to over a million dollars per person, depending mm -hmm. on what their financial wherewithal are. So, so when I say put on your teacher hat, First of all, where are these people? I mean, where do you find these people, right? Well, right. there's there's three categories. There's three categories of private lenders. Mm -hmm. Number one 
it's people that you are, that are in your network. The people that you go to church with, the uh, you know we've heard we've heard the old mom and pop relationship money phrase, but they're in your cell phone, uh, et cetera. And yeah. then the second category of where these private lenders are are what I call your expanded warm market. So how do you expand your warm market? Well, you get involved with Business Networking International. I've raised millions of dollars without asking for it with Business Networking International, uh, the Rotary Club, getting involved in your community. So there's ways that I teach and coach real estate investors on how to grow your network like overnight. The third category of private lenders are what we call existing private lenders. These are individuals that are already loaning money out from their investment capital, from their retirement funds that they have moved over to an IRS approved, uh, you know, separate IRA. They're already doing it. Well, here's the difference. I'm not putting on my teacher hat teaching those existing private lenders about private money because they already know what private money is. Sure. They're already doing it, but that doesn't mean you still can't do business with them. So what am I teaching these people about private money? Well, what I teach them is what I call my private lending program. So the program itself is not attached to a property. Mm -hmm. or, a, pro or a, a property that I'm trying to raise money for. You know, desperation has got a smell to it. Mm -hmm. And so the worst time to be trying to raise money is when you need it and you're afraid that you're going to miss out on a closing, right? Yes, yes. So let me go ahead and make this distinction. So the difference between raising money for commercial projects, such as apartments, 75 doors and more, et cetera, and raising money for single family homes, here's the difference. And of course, Ray, I'm telling you nothing. I'm just speaking to your audience. Yeah, please do. In this world of single family houses, which I have a ton of experience in, all the money we raise for those single family houses is what we call one-offs, mm -hmm. one-offs. Well, what's a one-off? Well, a one-off is you have a private lender or maybe a couple of private lenders that are loaning money and funding deal for a single family house, that one property. And it's a one-off. They get their own promissory note. They get their own deed of trust or mortgage to collateralize the note. We're not borrowing unsecured. And of course, Ray, you know better than anybody when you're raising money for apartments or commercial or self storage or land, or, you know, those other classes of commercial, Typically, you're going to be raising money for the private lenders or investors best fund. Mm. Many times, you know, we'll hire a, a security uh, attorney, an SEC attorney, draw up a private placement memorandum a lot of times. People will invest in that. So, yeah. so back to this without asking for it, I can, e I can most easily explain how this works in the world of single family houses. The concept works as well on teaching, leading with a servant's heart. New real estate investors that have never raised private money ask me the question all the time, Jay, I'm, I'm just afraid to ask for money. Well, here's my answer to that. How can you be rejected? How can you have a fear of rejection if you're not asking anybody for anything? If you're just teaching them what you know what this world is about and how they can get high rates of return safely and securely so let me give a quick example and then i'm gonna catch my breath ray and give it back to you to direct the conversation <laughs> so because I, I could go i mean i'm so passionate about this i could go on without stopping but go i won't for it go so, for it so here's a perfect example not perfect example here here's an easy way to understand as to how i get all this money and how my membership gets all this money for their private money i mean for their deals we separate, don't miss this, don't mm -hmm. miss this. We separate the conversations between teaching how people can earn high rates of return in a way they've never heard about, and then having a deal, a one-off, say, a single family house for them to fund. So let's talk about that. Mm -hmm. So how do we work? I raised nine hundred and sixty-nine thousand dollars at one private lender luncheon 
where I, I buy people lunch and I teach them what the what private money is and how they can use in addition to that retirement funds and move it over to a self-directed IRA, pay for tax for earned income and tax-free income. When you tell somebody, let me show you how to earn unlimited amount of money, either tax deferred or tax free every year, you just got their attention because yes. they ain't never they ain't never heard that in their life. Mm -hmm. And so I invite them to lunch for a private dinner luncheon, feed them lunch. I take 25 minutes with my simple little PowerPoint presentation and I teach private money without a particular property attached to it. And at the end of the luncheon, you know, there's an interest form they can fill out, et cetera. And look, this is all about serving and teaching and not chasing, begging, selling, or persuading. Mm -hmm. When we do the follow-up phone call with these people that come to the luncheon, the purpose of the follow-up call is to say, hey, thank you for coming. I know your time is so important. Can you take a minute and give me some feedback on how we could have done better at the presentation? I need mm -hmm. your help. Give me some feedback. I don't ask them if they want to invest. I don't even ask. Guess what? They tell me anyway. They say, yeah, I'm like really interested or thanks for having me or no, it's not for me. You know, I don't even have to ask now. So we teach. Now, let's say, Ray, you're one of my new private lenders. Mm -hmm. And let's say that, you know, we've had a little chit chat at Starbucks or whatever. And I've told you how the program works. And you're like really interested. And you say, but Jay, you know, by the way, here's another writer downer. Private lenders always have always have more money than they tell you. They always have more money than they tell you. Mm -hmm. He said, "Yeah, Jay, I'd like to start with one hundred and fifty thousand dollars. How soon can you put that to work?" I said, oh, "Probably pretty soon." Mm -hmm. So we've had that conversation. Now here's how we get the money without asking for it. I call Ray up with what I call the good news phone call. Now it's going to be hard for y'all to believe. But here in North Carolina, we actually still have handsets and telephone <laughs> receivers here in North Carolina. With a cord attached to the phone. The cord and attached yeah, to yeah, it. Yeah, all right. So, Ray, I call you up and I say, Ray, I've got great news. I can now put your money to work. You see, you're, you're, you're waiting for the phone call. You're mm. waiting for the phone call, right? Ray, I, can, I got great news for you. I can now put your money to work. I got a house in Newport with an after repaired value of $200,000. The funding required is 150. Closings next Wednesday, you'll need to have your funds wired to my real estate attorney's trust account next Tuesday. I'm gonna have my real estate attorney email you the wiring instructions. End of conversation. Notice I didn't ask Ray if he wants to fund the deal. That's the most stupid question in the world I could ask him. Of course mm. he wants to fund the deal. Mm -hmm. He's already told me he loves the program. He's already told me he wants to put this money to work. And let me tell you something. If I have told Ray, my private lender, about this world of private money, and Ray has moved his, his retirement funds over to the self-directed IRA company that I recommend, he ain't making any money until I give him the good news phone call right. and I'm ethically bound to put his money to work because he's moved it over there so he could invest. So you see how this is no selling, begging, chasing, persuading. It's all about, and so, you know, the traditional way to borrow money is you go to the institutional lender, you get on your hands and knees, you put your hands underneath your chin and you say, please fund my deal, right? Mm -hmm. Well, in this world, we're not asking for a mortgage. We are offering a mortgage. There's no applications. There's no verifications of income. Listen, you are already approved as the borrower. Yes. You just got to get the word out. Right, right. Wow, Jay, there's so much to unpack there. There's so much to unpack there. What really jumps out at me is at the beginning where you talked about, you approach this from the position of a servant or a teacher. Yes. And immediately you're adding value to the people who are investing in these deals. You're not there, as you said, you're not chasing, begging, selling, or persuading or anything like that. You are offering value in the form of education. Sometimes it's something about something that, that uh, a person has never heard of. There, there are high paid professionals. You and I both know high paid professionals who make a lot of money as specialists, as engineers or physicians or accountants or attorneys or whatever, but they're not managing their money. But we come in, we offer the education, and then all of a sudden their money, each dollar is a soldier that gets to go to work for them. Absolutely. And like speaking of education, 
So I've got a, I've got different PowerPoint presentations that I teach people. So um, you're going to love this, Ray. You're going to yes, love this. Yes, yes. So another way we teach is I have a PowerPoint presentation that teaches people how they can use their retirement funds, either from a past 401k or maybe they got dedicated retirement funds in the stock market. Mm -hmm. And so follow this. I'm going to tell you what I teach, then I'm going to tell you where we go and teach it and how this becomes a phenomenal lead generator of people interested in investing with us. So yes. <clears throat> here's the presentation in a nutshell. We teach people how they can take $100, $100 of their retirement funds. So go open up a self-directed IRA account at an IRS approved third party custodian. And we tell them where to go. Anyway, take $100 and go find a real estate deal, a single family house, get it under contract and get an option for $100 mm -hmm. that's paid out of your retirement account. And then we teach them how you can flip or assign that contract. So this is called wholesaling, right? Yes, this is yep. wholesaling. Mm -hmm. How they can take $100 now go assign that contract for $10,000 or $20,000 assignment fee to another real estate investor to take the deal down. And then guess what? You have just earned ten dollars or $20,000 either tax-free if you open up a Roth IRA or at least uh, tax-deferred. But on a Roth IRA, you just earned ten dollars or $20,000 tax-free. But then when we get to the end of the presentation, we say, but, but it's the Columbo close. One, yes, more thing, yeah, yeah. one more thing, one more thing. But if you're not interested in trying to find deals, negotiate deals, invest in real estate directly yourself with your, with your retirement funds, then guess what? You can be totally passive. And did you know you can use your retirement funds as a private lender? And so if you're interested in learning about how to use your retirement funds and be totally passive, then here's a 16 minute audio and here's a QR code. You can just download the audio and here's how you can do it passively. And so my members have done this at rotary clubs, Kiwanis clubs, uh, churches and have people flocking them mm -hmm. at the end of the presentation, wanting to learn more about it. So you see, that's another example as to how you can teach, right? I yes. mean, you can put together a, so if you're raising money for a project, for an apartment, you know, uh, project or whatever, well, you can put a presentation together, but remember you want to frame that whole presentation as an educational value add. Right, right. You're adding value. You're not asking for something. You're adding value. You're giving them something. And, and there aren't a whole lot of books on this. This is mainly learned through mentorship and apprenticeship. Yes. 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 Absolutely. Jane, when did you first get excited about this industry? Clearly, you're excited. I mean, you're on fire. You're a ball of energy. Clearly, you're excited. And I think you're excited because of all the people you've helped with this. When did you first get wind of this and, and what is your journey? Why don't you walk us through your journey from the beginning to, to today? Yes. I'm so glad you asked Ray, because this allows me or triggers me to say the big growth in you as a person personally and in your business, if you're like me, always takes place in the Valley when there's a problem, mm -hmm. when there's a challenge to where we've got to push through. And you know, Ray, you're going to like this. My favorite definition of coincidence is God's way of staying anonymous. Yes. So, so here's what happened. <laughs> here's what happened. Love that. You see, we first started investing, Carol Joy and I first started investing here in Eastern North Carolina in 2003, 2003 is when we went full time. And the first six years, Ray, from 2003 until January, 2009, all I knew to do, all I knew to do was rely on the local banks, rely on institutional money, rely on traditional financing to fund my deals. That's mm -hmm. all I knew. 
And so it was in January 2009. I picked up this very phone right here one more yes. time. I picked up All this right. phone mm -hmm. and I called my banker. My banker's name was Steve. He had been my banker for six years, funded a bunch of deals for me. So I called him up and I told him about these two houses that I had under contract here mm -hmm. in the local area to close on and the funding that was required. And Steve and I had had this conversation many times. Well, Steve went quiet on me on the other end of the phone, which is never a good sign when your banker or your significant other stops talking, not a good mm -hmm. sign. Steve okay. clears his throat. Steve clears his throat. He says, Jay, I'm sorry to tell you, but the bank has closed your line of credit. I said, what do you mean, Steve? You've closed my line of credit. I said, I've never been late on a payment. I got a great credit score. Why are you telling me my line of credit's been closed? He said, Jay, don't you know there's a global financial crisis going on right now? I said, no, but now you've just given me a financial crisis because yeah. I got these two deals under contract and no way to fund them. What am I going to do? He right. says, sorry, Jay, we're not loaning money out. So I hung the phone up. By the way, Ray, these people running around saying every problem's an opportunity. I want to throw up. I didn't have no opportunity. I had a problem. Right. I didn't have a way, I didn't have, I didn't have a way to fund my <laughs> deals, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, this, this did end up being an opportunity, but I didn't know it at the time. So that's why I'm saying coincidence, God's way of staying anonymous. So right. I hung up the phone and I sat here for a moment at this very desk. Mm. And I asked myself a question. So here's another writer downer. Whenever you got a problem, the best question you could ask yourself is, who do I know that can help me with my problem? Mm -hmm. And immediately, when I asked myself that question, I immediately thought of Jeff Blankenship. Jeff lived in Greensboro, North Carolina at the time, and he and Carol Joy and I, we were great friends, and we still are, know each other through the church. Mm -hmm. And uh, we put on singing events together. And so we sing and invest in real estate and all that. And so I called up Jeff and I told him what happened with my banker on the phone. And Jeff says, well, Jay, welcome to the club. I said, what club? He said, the club of being cut off from the bank. Mike cut me off last week. Yeah. I said, well, how are, you going, how are you funding your deals? And he said, well, have you ever heard of private money? I said, mm -hmm. no. He said, have you ever heard of self-directed IRAs and how people can use retirement funds to invest in real estate and be a private lender? I said, no. He says, well, let me tell you about it. So I learned and first heard the words private money and self-directed IRA from my buddy, Jeff. And let yes. me tell you something in the next night. So I put my, the first thing I did was I put my program together, but that's actually where you shouldn't start. People mm -hmm. ask me all the time, they say, Jay, how's the, what's the best way to start raising private money? I can tell you the first place to start is to get your mindset right, which mm -hmm. is what we've been talking about. Right, you're going to teach right. people, you're going to serve people. So I wrote out my program as to what kind of interest rate I was going to pay, how people could get their money back in case of an emergency, what the length of the notes were going to be, uh, what's my maximum loan to value that I will borrow, and how I'll protect them and what documentation am I going to give them? All yep. that's in my, all that's in my book, by the yep. way. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I put the program together and then I simply started serving and teaching and telling people, in fact, I'll give you the short version. So it was on a, so I put my program together and it was on a Wednesday night at Bible study, Ray, uh, mm -hmm. seven 30 Wednesday night here on Barbara road in Moorhead city at the church of Christ. Mm -hmm. So I went there the Bible study, and I walked up to a gentleman that was in the foyer, and he and I have known each other a while. I walked up to him, and I said, I'd like to visit with you something uh, confidential, about something confidential after Bible study. Can we get together? And hmm. he said, well, sure, of course. So we had Bible study, and we got together, and we went in the nursery of the church building, shut the door. Here's the script. Here's exactly what I said to my first private lender. I didn't know he was going to be my first private lender, but mm -hmm. here's what I said to him. I said, mm -hmm. his name was Wayne. I said, Wayne, you know, everybody in this town where we live and I need your help. Don't miss that phrase. Don't miss that phrase. 
Mm. I need your help. I said, Wayne. And by the way, he did know everybody. He was the original Zenith television dealer in Moorhead City, North Carolina. And if you don't know who the Zenith television dealer was, they were just too young to remember life before Walmart came to town, right? Yes, yeah. <laughs> so what did they say? The quality goes in before the name goes on. That was you, hey, uh, you, yes. hey, you just dated you and me, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> so I said, Wayne, you know everybody in this town, and I need your help. I said, you see, I've now opened up my real estate investing business to people that I know and trust, and I've got a program that's by referral only. I'm paying insane high rates of return. I said, Wayne, when you run across somebody that's complaining about the volatility of the stock market or the stupid you know, rates they're getting in certificates of, de of deposit, would you refer them to me and I'll tell them about my program as to how they can get high rates of return safely and securely? Wayne looked at me and he says, well, now, Brother Jay, what you got in mind? And I said, well, are you saying you might be interested? He said, well, I might. He said, uh, we're losing money in the stock market, he and his wife, and, and we're not, not making much in the uh, local bank. He said, what kind of rates are you paying? And I said, well, Wayne, that sort of depends on the deal, but what sounds high to you? He says, well, we're only making 3%, and that's what it was back in 2009. Mm -hmm. We're only making 3% in the bank, and you know we're losing money in the stock market. Uh, he's, I said, well, what sounds high to you? He said, I don't know, maybe five or six percent. And I said, well, Wayne, I can't pay you five or six percent, but I can pay you eight percent. And he said, put <laughs> me down for two hundred and fifty thousand yeah, dollars. Yeah, yeah, so that yeah. next yeah. day, that next day I went to him and his wife's home and I went over the entire program with them. Yeah. Well that two hundred and fifty thousand within twenty four hours went to five hundred thousand. Mm. But you see how I led that conversation. I call it the right. indirect method. I simply asked him to spread the word as to what I'm doing, yes, and you know, um, and not, uh, and he did. I mean, mm -hmm. he and his wife they became uh, our first private lender, and I don't know, I lost count how many other people they actually referred to us. So you see, leading with a servant's heart, teaching, and asking people to just help you spread the word as to what you're doing. Right, right. Lead with a servant's heart, teaching, and asking people to spread the word. That's powerful. That's mm -hmm. powerful. Now you have a book out. You mentioned that you kind of alluded to it uh, a few minutes ago. So why don't you tell us a little bit about your book and you know what's going on there? Sure. I'm so excited about my book. It's called Where to Get the Money Now. Where to Get the Money mm -hmm. Now. And again, single family houses, commercial deals, et cetera. And the subtitle is how and where to get all the money for your real estate deals without relying on institutional money, banks, hard money lenders, et cetera. This is not a downloadable book. You, this is not an ebook. This is actually a book, 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 and mm. we ship it to you three day uh, priority. Uh, believe it or not, the United States Postal Service is still in business and I'll autograph it for you. Now you can okay. get it on Amazon for 20 bucks, but I'd rather give it to you because you're listening here to Ray's show for free. I'll ship the book mm. to you. The book's free. All I ask is you just cover postage and here's how you can get the book and I'll ship it right out to you. Priority mail, www.com. J Connor with an E-R, not an O-R, www.jayconner.com forward slash book, B-O-O-K. One more time, that's J Connor, J-A-Y-C-O-N-N-E-R.com forward slash book. We'll rush it right out to you. This program that I'm talking about where you teach other people how they can get high rates of return and be your private lender, it's all laid out, simple, simple, step-by-step -step, right in the book. Wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah. And, and we are, you know, we are coming to the close. I'm looking at the time has gotten so quickly. I'm looking at the, the clock here and it's blowing my mind. We, uh, we got into it. We had, a lot of the energy just flowed here. So you've just let people know how they can get in touch with you, uh, you know, your website and through your book. And why don't you tell us what are you reading right now? Or what are you listening to? What do you do to sharpen your, your saw, to sharpen, sharpen your knowledge of the business and business in general? What, what do you read and what do you listen to? Right, right. Well, I will share it uh, and I'll answer it a couple of different ways. So I do want to share the book that changed my life when I was in a very, very dark place 
had no friends, had no life, had no money, and it was a bad time. And mm. that is, the name of that book is University of Success by mm. Og Mandino. University of Success by Og Mandino. And it's just an amazing book, easy read. If, 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 if you're feeling a little lost in your direction and your life, uh, in addition to the Bible, that book will get you set straight. Uh, probably my, my most favorite book, and I read all the time. I mean, I could give you a long list. Um, but probably my most favorite book that I've read in recent times is The Go-Giver. I'm sure you've heard of that book, yes, Ray. Yes, um, yes, I actually had the co-author, Bob Berg, on my podcast mm -hmm. um, recently. And it's a beautiful book. It's a parable, and it's all about serving and uh, what that can do for you in your life. So, yeah, The Go-Giver. And by the way, if you're listening and you've enjoyed this conversation and you really want to talk more about private money and hear conversations, come on over and follow me on my podcast, mm -hmm. which is Raising Private Money with Jay Connor. Imagine that. Yes. Ray just search yes. for Raising Private Money. And it's on all the platforms, your favorite platform. Uh, very, very easy to find. We do two shows a week. And I have amazing guests come on there. In fact, Ray may be one of the next uh, upcoming guests on my show. And, uh, and I interview them about how they raise private money because we always learn from each other. Wonderful, wonderful. Jay Connor, it has been a pleasure speaking with you today. I, I feel energized. I'm sure our listeners and, and watchers, our viewers feel energized as well. Uh, thank you for the book offer. And I just appreciate that you're, you're sharing your knowledge and your history with us today. Grateful to Ray, see you. It's all my pleasure. Thank you so much for having me and God bless you. God bless you too. Are you feeling inspired by the knowledge you gained in this episode? Then head over to jconner.com slash money guide. That's jconner.com slash money guide and download your free guide that shares seven reasons why private money will skyrocket your real estate investing business right now. Again, that's jconner.com slash money guide to get your free guide. We'll see you next time on Raising Private Money with Jay Connor.